Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And somebody uh, was mentioning, I had a few comments uh, that I've seen people uh, mentioning how Windows 10 um, being Windows as a service, um, the fact that Windows 11 is here has failed. And uh, of course, I've got a few people that said, so Windows 11 is back to a regular standard Windows like before. Nope, it's still a Windows as a service. So this, we could uh, say that Windows 11 has now become Windows as a Service 2.0. And that's why it will have a yearly feature update. It's, like Windows 10, a constant work in, in progress. One of the main reasons why it feels unfinished in certain areas when you use it. Um, so Microsoft still believes Windows as a service is the way to go with operating systems, but at least it has calmed down in wanting us to upgrade. Um, it's obvious that they noticed that having two major updates a year was totally impossible to maintain and they had to do something. So um, in Windows 10, we've been kind of lucky to have only small cumulative updates now. 21H2 in Windows 10 will be a small cumulative update in the next few weeks also. Um, only Windows 11 will have, from what we know now, a feature update, and it's only once a year. So should be, hopefully, better. And the fact that Windows 11 has, of course, uh, Windows updates that are more up optimized and smaller, hopefully will make things better when we get to the Windows update and, uh, you know, install updates and do stuff on our machines. But it's definitely still Windows has a service. Microsoft still thinks that's the way to go and that's the future for Windows, uh, even with Windows 11. So uh, kind of interesting to see that, um, you know, they're not reverting back to the good old way of Windows. But... At least at once a year, it's not going to be too annoying. And with 24 months support, also, it's not as aggressive as Windows 10. Windows 10, 18 months every time you had a feature update or a little update. Uh, it's still right now, as we know, as, as we um, probably know, is 18 months for now, which means they will probably release some small updates from, you know, but um, Windows 11 is moving and has moved to 24 months, which means you've got this update, you can actually skip the next update and just install the update in 24 months or two years from now. Or if you install the update next year, you'll have two years that you can keep it without having to install another uh, feature update. So it's 24 months cycle uh, on the machines. But after 24 months, in order to have security updates, um, you'll have to update, you know, just like Windows 10, uh, when it comes to the end of support of one update or one feature update, uh, one version that you have. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.